Los Angeles, too many families, I would say, are paying more than 50% of their income towards rent. Upticks in rent and other destabilizing factors uh, create a huge crisis for uh, these families. Lhasa is the lead administrator for the family rehousing system. Um, what that means is that in addition to coordinating the resources that we fund, we work really closely with other mainstream system partners to coordinate those resources as well. So one of the partners that we work together most closely with is the Department of Public Social Services or DPSS. Um, and the reason that we coordinate so closely with them is because there are a lot of programs that families um, not only may be eligible for, but they're also entitled to. And so we want to make sure that for any family that is experiencing homelessness, that they can first get connected to the resources to which they're entitled. We, along with our service providers, are seeing that we are housing more people than ever before. Um, this is the same for the family system, that despite the fact that more and more families, unfortunately, are seeking assistance, that um, we, along with the providers we work with, are seeing more and more families actually getting placed. Parthenia Place is a 40-unit apartment building that we were able to help 40 families move into right before the holidays at the end of the year. It's been an extraordinary opportunity that we haven't had until this time. LA Family Housing is so proud to be able to partner with the Housing Authority of the City of Los Angeles, who actually purchased Parthenia Place and engaged LA Family Housing to be the on-site service provider. Knowing that all of our families who are living here, our agency has been working with for years as they have transitioned out of homelessness. With this unique opportunity of Project Home Key, with the single acquisition of one site, not waiting years to build a new building, we actually had this opportunity to immediately move people home. We actually have somewhere that we can come to every day and call home. My kids have their own space. They have toys that they can just go play in their room and be a kid. And I feel like that's the big thing. You know, a lot of people, me to be out of harm's way. But it took over a year and a half for me to be placed, you know? And that was high risk pregnancy, two kids already. You know, there was a lot of factors that were included, but it still took time. We've been able to do this work, but we haven't changed as a system the infrastructure needed to do this work more effectively and more efficiently. So I would say that might be an ongoing barrier that we have both the resources to continue building more housing, but also the processes to make that development process most efficient. It's definitely been a challenge to continue to try and keep pace with a population that has a need. Um, and what we've ended up with is a situation where for the last couple of years, every year, about halfway through the year, the agencies that we work with have run out of resources. They've already housed as many families as they can in motels, and they're essentially almost out of, out of resources. And so they have to start either turning away families or they're in a situation where they almost don't have enough to keep those families inside. At the end of the day, as we look forward, it's about producing more housing because the only way to end homelessness in a family and an individual's life is with a home. By doing things a little bit more intentionally and thinking about who has most need, we can serve families more quickly, which means they won't uh, enter a program and then not have enough support to enter it, to, or excuse me, to exit it. So it, it would look like, you know, not just putting families in motels and and letting them stay there for longer than necessary, but working with them quickly to try and rehouse them permanently in an apartment. So I think the more that we can do that work of um, right-sizing our system and making sure that service providers can serve families um, really well, the faster the housing placements will continue to happen and um, the more successful we'll all be together. The city of Los Angeles is now exploring a right uh, to housing and um, this essentially means that uh, we should develop what is effectively a municipal obligation to speak to prevention and intervention. That's what's uh, required in order for us to make good on our commitment so that all our families can experience a level of dignity. 
that they deserve by virtue of the fact that they're human beings, no more, no less. <laughs>